So as people are kind of working their way up, I'll, I'll kind of make, I'll, I'll make my best argument on behalf of McKnight. Okay. So I think the best argument for uh, saying that Adam and Eve aren't real um, is to say that Paul believes that, but if you read Romans 12, he's actually agreeing with them around him. That's not actually his intent to affirm it. He's just kind of talking in that context in the same way how, you know, when you read parts of Psalms, it seems as if they say that the earth, uh, you know, is the center of the universe and the sun revolves around it. That's just their context. That's not actually what he's affirming. He's just kind of more talking about the world as they see it and explaining it. And, and it's not clear to me that Adam has to be real for his argument to make sense. So I think that's the best argument, I think, to make, that he believes it, but that's not actually what he's affirming. Would you agree with that? Absolutely, and I hope I was leaving room for that in what I said. The key is, what does Paul affirm there? Yeah, but the part that where I really strongly disagree is, is well, I mean, I don't follow. I mean, for that lot is logic I can follow, and maybe it's right, and maybe some of you are going to be upset with me because I said maybe that it's right. Uh, I mean, I, and I guess I'm comfortable with that because, I, like I said, I don't rest my faith on Adam. I rest it on Jesus. But. That's not the argument he makes, and, and I really do have a hard time with the starting from science point of view. 